finding spring. The forest was growing cold. Mama said that soon it would be time to sleep. But all Morris could think about was his first spring. Spring, 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 he sang as it filled up on berries. I wish it was spring right now, Morris told Mama. Waiting is hard, she said. Right now, it is time to sleep. Maybe you will dream about spring, Mama whispered. Soon, she was softly snoring, and Maurice was wide awake. I will go find spring, he said. And off he went. Everyone in the forest was busy. I'm looking for spring, Maurice told Squirrel. That might take a while, Squirrel chittered, turning to bury a large acorn. I am looking for spring, he told Rabbit. Not yet, Rabbit giggled before dashing into his warm burrow. Deer didn't even look up from her grass. I'm looking for spring, he told Robin. Everything in its time, Robin said, then she flew south. The woods smelled musky, and there was something new and tangy in the air. I smell spring, said Maurice, as he hurried along. Suddenly, Maurice felt an icy sting on his nose. Is that spring? he asked. A beautiful crystal landed on his paw. Spring? Crystal disappeared, but soon there was another, and another, and another. Morris chased after them. Spring was hard to catch. He chased them past dry leaves, past bare branches, over the frozen stream. to the great hill. Wow, said Maurice. Spring, spring, spring. I found spring, he sang as it was cooked up a bit to take home. Back in the den, Morris snuggled happily against Mama. He slept and slept and slept. When he woke up, everyone had already gathered in the meadow. I brought you some spring, Morris announced. But spring was gone. Where is it? He asked. Spring can be hard, hard to find, said Robin. Maybe it's hiding, Rabbit giggled. Deer just blinked. Sometimes you really have to search, said Squirrel. Let's look again, Mama said. So Morris led them back through the forest. He saw blooming branches and bright green buds. He saw the rushing stream. Everything had changed. And Morris knew just what to do. To the great hill, he cried. And at last, there it was. Morris had finally found spring.